another thing, very, very important point, is that when we we learn about the signs before the Day of Judgment, study them properly, we are now able to know and recognize the truth from falsehood. Recognize the truth from falsehood. And wallahi, over the past couple of months, you know, if you go into these modes and you keep thinking about something for a while, over the past couple of months, this has been like constant, because I'm surrounded by people who are lacking basira, basira, which is spiritual insight, being able to recognize truth from falsehood. And we're surrounded by people who pray and everything, who just can't tell the truth from falsehood. And they believe any lie in the media, they believe everything that they see. And it's like in, in our day and age, almost, subhanAllah, one of the most important things is to be able to recognize truth from falsehood. And there's so much of the falsehood. So where is the truth? So just having that ability is so important. But that ability comes through through knowledge, and of course the man as well, but through knowledge. Um, probably some of you have seen that, uh, it, it's a series on YouTube, it's called The Arrivals. Yeah. And it has some historical facts mixed with nonsense. Pure, complete, utter nonsense. And people were, that said, you know, when the, the series came out, people were watching it and believing everything in it. Why? Because some of it is true, then mixed with falsehood. So then people can't discern and can't tell the truth from the falsehood. So, having this knowledge, you'll be able to watch a series like The Arrivals and clearly see that the majority of it is absolute gibberish and nonsense, right? Or other speakers, I don't want to mention names, but you know, there was a speaker famous for um, always trying to explain away uh, the signs before the Day of Judgment. He even has a picture, a photo of where Yajuj and Majuj came out and broke the barrier. I mean, really, if Yajuj and Majuj broke the barrier, that means that the Jal already came, Isa alayhi salam already killed him, Armageddon, all these things. But people still believe it. And everywhere you go, and Allah, the other day, yani I, I gave, um, it was a khutbah about the Dajjal, because one of the signs of the Dajjal is near is that he's not mentioned on the mimbar specifically. So, the Imam of the Masjid, who is a knowledgeable person, came to me, and he mentioned uh, this uh, this person who is more or less behind a lot of the the ideas in the arrival series, and he said, "No, I agree with a lot of what he says." Yeah, Allah. Yeah, and if you look at the hadith, they're so clear. You cannot bend and force all these hadith to fit what you know as reality today. A world of knowledge awaits you. Enroll now at almagreb.org.